Welcome back, beautiful people. This is the baddest, the illest, the A big show in the 254, man. Mm. Nairobi is talking right now. And in case you're just joining us, this is Grapevine, baby. Ra. Ra. <laughs> Now, the JW show is a show that has been happening annually for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. This year is no different because it went down over the weekend, but with a limited number of people. They only allowed 300 people for the show. And remember, this is a show that has normally has even a thousand people Absolutely. attending Absolutely. the fashion show. But 300 only, Lakini, those at home were not left behind because they were doing it live. They were streaming it live. It was virtual. Let's wow. check it out. The 10th edition of the JW Fashion Show at the Kenya Film Center attracted who is who in the industry for one of the biggest day in the fashion in the country. The JW Fashion Show is an annual event that gives upcoming and established designers a chance to showcase their designs in front of the industry expert, industry enthusiasts and the judges. The 10th edition style started fashion extravaganza, congregated men and women who are pushing the envelope and sustaining proper fashion runs that has transcended borders and caught global attention. The models stepped up to do their designers justice and the diversity with the models themselves. This year I did four designers back to back. It was a very interesting um, show doing different designs for different designers. I loved it. Today's show I showcased uh, three designers outfits. The first one was Steve and Sony. The second designer was Wavinia. Then the third designer was uh, Bitrand. Something that was different in this year's edition, the panelists led by Naomi Nganga, Liz Njoroge, Kenneth Esenji, among others, had a chance to advise on the future of the music, fashion and mentorship to the up-and-coming talent. And that was not all, as the number of the attendees were reduced to 300 due to observation of the COVID-19 guideline. Also live virtual transition was provided to the fashion lovers who are left out of the 300 mark. The authority on the choreography being incredible was done by the models themselves, Nivia and Cliff. It has been quite a journey. I started off as a model, I was a beginner when I started this show and now I would call myself a pro and I'm so happy with the models, the, with the work the models have done this year, they've made me so proud. Getting this chance to showcase my talent here was a very big deal and I'm very happy that it was a success. KFCB being one of the main sponsors for three years consecutively, the chief guest was Dr. Ezekiel Mutua who expressed his overwhelming emotions about the show. Do what J, uh, JF Kennedy said and this is what JW is doing. Ask what can I do for Kenya? Jeffrey is making a difference. He started small, he's growing. Now you can see, last year we were in two rivers. You never know where this will go. So when he came to us to ask us to take him to Dallas, uh, Texas, we were more than happy to do it. And we are going to take him places. We are not going to drop a guy like this who is committed to embrace other youth, bring them together, and give them an opportunity to showcase their talent. From the flat shoes to the high heels, skirts, trousers and dresses, the fashion enthusiasts did not hold back. I'm wearing a suit. Yeah, it's from Ashok. Uh, it's made by Ashok Sanitailer. Yeah. Uh, the shoes are called Simi. Yeah, they're designer shoes. It's just a basic uh, suit. Just the difference is the fabric. Uh, I think uh, because of the event, we need to do something more glamorous, more red carpet. So that's, I chose this fabric to make this kind of a suit. So I just made a simple suit because the fabric speaks for itself. I'm wearing this bralette and then I paired it up with a long tool dress, tool, tool skirt. Peach, as we know, tool skirt and peach is a colorful, you know, it's a childish. Yeah, so I, I decided to go with this so that I complete the look. It's just a random uh, African outfit with a kaftan. Kaftan is the red helmet. Actually, I didn't know what to wear. I just grabbed something that was close to me. <laughs> These are Conros, Conros line, like the, the known as a Ghanaian line. Yeah, and uh, what I'm wearing today is a uh, Ankara jumpsuit. I just decided to go Ankara because, you know, I just want to feel home. I want people to know that this is home. 